Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I am reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Monday, August 20th, 2012, and here is today's After the Bell Market Summary. Let's go ahead and take a look to see how these markets close today. It's pretty much flat across the board. We had the Dow Jones down 3.56. We had the NASDAQ down 0.38, and we had the S&P 500 down Point zero three. We take a look at the breadth, breadth today. We had 2,674 issues advancing and 3,468 issues declining on the NYSC, NASDAQ, and the AMEX. So a little bit of uh, negative on the, a little bit negative on the breadth. However, stocks did uh, trade pretty well today. Another day that you could say is in favor of the bulls, as we have just been on a tremendous rally, and uh, you know there's no sight of a top quite yet. I would really wouldn't try to short the market yet until we get some type of signs here. Apple continues to trade higher. Amazon continues to look decent along with uh, along with IBM hanging in there. The banks continue to rally. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these charts to see what's uh, what we have actually going on here. I want to first start by taking a look at the ES. You guys know I track the ES a lot and I know a lot of the retail traders check the SPY so we're going to start including the SPY analysis in these videos here. So if you guys like my analysis that I do on the ES you guys are going to love the analysis that I do on the SPY. But anyways, taking a look at the SPY, we closed here at 14. We closed on a doji right here, as you can see, at uh, 14, 1475. All right. We remain above that key trend line that we've been highlighting to you guys for the past couple of weeks here off of this little key trend line right here. If you guys recall, that was the neckline from the breakdown of the head and shoulders pattern that we had. And so far, we, we you know we continue to remain above that level, which is good. And if we continue to trade higher, the next target we should have on the ES once we break above 14.20, which is the 52-week uh, highs, next level will be the top of this channel right here around 14.40, which is the top of the uh, right shoulder trend line from right here, as you guys can see. All right, so I wouldn't, you know, I would be careful buying equities up here. We put in a nice little doji day today here. We could have some selling pressure. We are extended from the 20-day simple and uh, exponential moving average which is down there at 1390 so we're about 25 points above that level there we could continue to trend higher but just want to be cautious buying stocks up here especially if you especially especially if you're uh, initiating swing positions it's a good environment for day trading but if you're initiating uh, swing positions up here at these levels you want to be uh, pretty cautious about that so anyway ES is looking pretty good here. Level to watch the downside is 1407 then 1400. Levels to watch the top side, you have 1420. And then if we break above 1420 and start holding above 1420, we could start making some positive action up, uh, some pos positive movement up towards the 1440. Let's take a look at the SPY because I know a lot of the traders out there watch the SPY as well. SPY is, you know, already made some, already made new 52-week highs last Friday. Um, the high from last Friday on the SPY was 142.30. Next levels you want to watch. The next levels coming up here that you want to watch on the SPY. Looking at my weekly chart, which is on my right screen that you guys do not see, is the uh, 144 and a half level, and the 145 level will be the next key levels you want to watch if we continue to hold above uh, 142 and trend higher. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Apple today. A lot of the traders on the Twitter stream, stock puts are talking about Apple. You can see here, Apple's making new 52-week highs. Key level to watch. The key level to watch on the stock was the 640 level. Well, first of all, let's start off with the, the key level to watch on the stock was down here at 570. Once it held the gap down from the lows, this nice support level got back above that 590, and it's been on a tear ever since. Chopped through the 620 level and chopped right through the 640 level. Next target on the stock you have to worry about is 675, and then, of course, obviously 700. So Apple's on an amazing run. Take a look at Amazon. Amazon is not too far off its all-time highs as well. Well, Amazon has all-time highs right here at 246.71. Keep an eye on that stock to see if it wants to play catch-up and make all-time highs with Apple stock is definitely acting well. You have some other stocks out there that are doing pretty well. eBay, a strong stock out there as well. But a nice little pullback today, but definitely a stock that you want to keep on your radar as long as it holds that 46 or even call it 45 and a half level right there. I'm looking for IBM to try to play catch up to Google and uh, Amazon and Apple here. IBM kind of the uh, big cap laggard of the group. You can see here it's not really back towards its uh, 52 week highs but could definitely play catch up as long as it remains to hold above this key uh, 200 level right here. It will be a perfect stock to buy some call options in some call options in if this uh, market continues to trend higher. Definitely keep that one on watch there. A couple of other standout stocks are there. Some of these junk stocks moving. Uh, FSLR 
we uh, didn't catch an initial move on this one right in the morning, but we definitely watched it for a uh, pullback once it pulled back towards this previous day's highs right here, which is this uh, 22 level here. You know, it made a nice little made a nice little pullback to get him off to the long side. Gave you a nice trade from 22 to tw to uh, 23. A couple stocks we traded today was Aetna and Lowe's. Uh, we traded some Facebook and a couple other a couple other stocks that a couple of the uh, traders were calling out in the chat room. So overall, some decent action today. Not really much to talk about here. I mean, gold stocks are on the move. Silver is looking pretty good. Want to keep an eye on want to keep an eye on the gold for the fact that silver is actually making a move first. Usually, it's the opposite way around where gold moves and silver starts going. Now we're seeing silver make a nice pop. Wouldn't be surprised if the GLD makes a nice pop here as well. All right, GLD needs to get over 158. If you track the gold futures like I do, and like a lot of professional traders do, and people that watch gold do. Uh, you know, this is setting up pretty nice here. You have a nice little tight pattern right here, tight triangle right here. And once this thing can get, really once this thing can get above uh, 630 on some nice volume on the gold futures and then break above 640, this thing could be off to the races up back up towards 666, six, six, sorry, 1660 and, and back towards the uh, 1670, 1680 area. So that's really about it. That's all I got for you guys today. I did have a longer video before this, but some issues happened, and I cut it down, and now I realize, you know, there's really not much to talk about because the market just continues to trade higher. We have the standout stocks like Apple that continue to lead the way, and really until something changes or we get some selling pressure, I mean, you just have to go with the flow in this light trading environment. So that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel to check out the midday market updates. Make sure you check out the website, wallstreettrading.com, and if you want access to our trading chat room our chat room live our Sunday night chat sessions that we have make sure you go to wallstreettrading.com fill out the form on the right hand side on the right hand side for the 14 uh, day free trial and that'll give you access to our chat room you can also go to the website uh, mywallstreettv.com type in the password smart and you'll have access as well but you want to make sure you get in our database so you can um, get any of the other important information that we send out which we have a lot of good things going down in the pot in the pipeline such as our Wall Street trading power hitter sheet, which I, you guys stay tuned for that one right there. So I hope you guys had a great trading day today. I'll definitely catch you guys tomorrow in the chat room around 8.30, and uh, have a great night, guys. Thank you.